How much does a divorce cost? I'm Tulsa attorney James Worth, and that's the question that we have. How much does it cost to get divorced? And unfortunately, that is not a real simple question to answer, uh, but I can provide some information for that. So first off, in a divorce, you're not required to have an attorney. It may make sense for you to have an attorney. It may be a good idea to have an attorney, but no law requires you to have an attorney. Anybody can represent themselves in court if they have the ability to do that. Um, so that's the first thing is you don't have to pay for an attorney if you know how to go through those processes and draft the paperwork. The downside is that's not real easy to do. And even under those circumstances, there's still court costs. So at least in Oklahoma, if you're divorcing um, and need one summons to serve on the other side, the typical filing fee right now is $272.14. And that's just the cost to get it filed and to have that summons. If you're gonna serve that summons on the other side, you can do that through certified mail. That costs a little bit more money. You can do it through a process server. Process servers generally charge somewhere between $50 and $100 and in more difficult cases, even more than that. Um, so those are the basic costs. Um, if you put on a hearing, you, you want, you're going to want to have a court reporter present for that. The court reporter charges a fee. It's generally $20. If you want to buy that transcript, they charge by the page. I think it's $3.5 per page for the transcript. So those are some of the costs to expect. If you go to mediation, the mediator is going to charge a fee um, unless it's a volunteer mediator. Uh, but that's a general idea on that. However, the bigger cost is when attorneys are involved, which is frequently the case and necessarily perhaps the case. Uh, because when you're representing yourself, there are no form pleadings that are at the courthouse. Some uh, states like California have these check box pleadings. So you can go down to the court, check some boxes, fill in some blanks, file a divorce petition. That's not the way it is in Oklahoma. There are no form pleadings for divorce cases uh, down at the court clerk's office. So you're going to have to either draft your own pleadings, hire a drafting service, or hire an attorney. So some drafting services like Payless Divorce or something like that may charge a couple hundred dollars. Uh, we sometimes at my office do a lawyer um, drafting service. And the benefit of that is that we also provide legal advice that those other services are prohibited from providing. As long with drafting the paperwork, we charge a $500 flat fee for that. Um, the next stage up is if we're talking about agreed divorces. So that's where it provides drafting legal representation in court legal advice to help you get the job done but there's a complete agreement on all terms so uh, you guys agree to get divorced you have an agreement regarding uh, debt division asset division custody visitation child support alimony attorney's fees all of that is agreed upon if everything is agreed upon we have an agreed divorce service um, for representation, we charge uh, $1,250 for that. If we have to do a quadro, some other complicated things, it could be a little bit more. Then most cases that are not agreed, you're looking at the cost to retain an attorney and different attorneys handle it differently. They all charge their own rates. So you could call around to see how different people do it. Uh, very few, but maybe some attorneys might do uh, family law cases on flat fees where they're contested. Most of the time, that's a bad idea because there's no there's no idea how much work is going to go into it. Um, you can fight over, you know, there's an unlimited amount of work that can go into fighting on things if the people care about that stuff enough. So when you're talking about fighting over custody, uh, where it's got an unlimited value to those parties, sometimes the cost can be very expensive because the time and effort put in are very expensive. Uh, so most of the time, family law attorneys don't do flat fees on contested matters. They do a retainer. So a retainer is what you pay to the attorney to get them in the case, and then that retainer bills up hourly for work that's done. So the attorney will have an hourly rate, uh, their staff may have an hourly rate that is separate, and any work that's done on the case bills up hourly is paid out of the retainer. Uh, so typically at my office, family law retainers anywhere from $2,500 um, up from there, depending on how complicated the case is and uh, whether we think it's gonna be done early or where we're looking at a trial retainer. Uh, so long story short, there's no real simple answer to how much is a divorce going to cost. It can vary anywhere from just the filing fee that someone's handling it pro se uh, to, you know, years of complicated uh, litigation where you're dealing with, you know, uh, parenting coordinators, guardian ad litems, custody evaluators, psych evaluations, drug testing, um, professionals that, that come in and testify in addition to those. So sky sometimes is the limit when you're fighting over things that mean a lot to people. Uh, so the better answer for you might be, what do you expect your particular divorce under your circumstances to cost? And for that, you're going to have to talk to an attorney uh, privately about your confidential information to get that quote. If you want to talk to somebody at my office about that, you can get that scheduled by going to makelaweasy.com.